voters have flipped Virginia red, as you can see in this map, just small pockets of blue indicating the areas that voted Democratic, but then most of the state voted Republican. This governor's race upended any notion that the Commonwealth is a Democratic stronghold. 10 News reporter McKinley Struthers spoke to state leaders about how we got here and lessons learned. It took a dozen years, but Virginia Republicans made it happen, flipping the state red. Tonight, Democrats are asking how it happened. It is harder and harder when everything is nationalized. Voters spoke up loud and clear. They are rejecting uh, the Biden administration's agenda. Two candidates, two different approaches to this election. More than tapping the brakes, really stomping on the brakes as far as that progressive agenda is concerned here in Virginia. Representative Ben Klein says Governor-elect Youngkin's Virginia-focused campaign carried him to victory. Glenn Youngkin listened to the people and uh, he is going to govern on behalf of them when it comes to education, parent involvement in the schools keeping taxes low, being a welcoming place for business. Senator Mark Warner says D.C. may have led to McAuliffe's demise, specifically the struggling infrastructure bill. The House should have passed it two months ago. And I do think the failure to pass that and some of the sausage making that's been involved. NBC News exit polls show that 45 percent of voters agree with Biden's leadership, but 54 percent of Virginian voters do not. I'd love us to get back to a Virginia where we surprise folks I don't care Democrat or Republican, where people do well in unexpected spots. In this case, a surprise was Republican voters turning out in droves. Well, Republicans learned that they don't need Trump in order to win. They also learned they don't have to be afraid of being linked with Donald Trump. Former Governor Terry McAuliffe released a statement saying, in part, we must protect our democracy. I am confident that the long-term path of Virginia is toward inclusion, openness, and tolerance. Read his full statement on WSLS.com. In Northern Virginia, McKinley Strother, 10 News, working for you.